The second race from Ludlow is a Moore's Million Handicap Chase, the top four qualifiers for the finals in uh, week 13, a big payday that. And one is Trend Attitude, Davy Robertson, two Classic Ben Davoody, four, three is Leo's Holiday, Alex Terry, four Captain Manwari, Martin Eden, five is Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, six is Weeby Clarity, Martin Eden, Subcontract, Craig Beckwith, Watchtower, Graham Clatterback, Nina Zinnick, Patrick Hogan, Tinson Farrell, Patrick Hogan, Maggie Saucier, Robbie One, Paul Sol Soltella, Alex Terry, Diamonds, Robbie One, and Mr. Wiseman, Stu Gray. So third is 14 horses in this race here at Ludlow and away they go in the rain with a watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck, the leader from subcontract on his outside. Then comes Anita Zendek for Padre Gogan as they jump the first and all of it okay. Slow jump near the back of the field by Weeby Clarity. But it's watchtower the leader from uh, Zene Nina Zenek in between horses is subcontract. Out one is Leah's Holiday. Then comes Pulsetta, the two Alex Cherry horses together. Weeby Clarity is out wide for Martin Leedham on the rail is Captain Man Waring. Just on the outside of Captain Man Waring is uh, uh, Tenson Farrell with uh, just preceding that is train attitude for Davy Robertson. Beyond that, the two great back with horses, Subcontract and Cottage Drake. Mr. Wiseman is out wide for Stu Gray, who won the first year at Ludlow. Um, out wide of that is Classic Ben. Diamonds near the back of the field. We had a faller there. Maggie Saucier is gone. Maggie Saucier for everyone that was a faller. As Watchtower takes him along in a, a quite a compact field. Nina Zenick on the outside uh, on the outside of um, we Captain Man wearing. On the outside of that is uh, Leo's Holiday for Alex Cherry. Uh, Stable Companion Paul Setter just behind that. They're followed by uh, Tinson Farrell for Patrick Hogan, who's been joined on his inside by subcontract. Travelling very wide at this stage are both Trend Attitude and Weeby Clarity. Um, up on the inside is the yellow colours of Diamonds for Obi Wan. Mr. Wiseman on that one's outside. On the rail is at Cottage Rake with Classic Ben at the back of the field for Dave Hoody, but it's only about six lengths first to last as Watchtower still takes him along for Graham Clutterbuck, jumps it well. Uh, blue colours or red cap of Watchtower. The yellow colours with a black cap, that's Patrick Hogan's Nina Zenick. On the outside of that, moving forward is subcontract for Craig Beck with a white cap, a white sleeves and white cap, blue body. On the rail, Captain Manwaring in those red colours. Um, out wide we have Leo's Holiday, they all jump the next OK. Uh, Travelling very wide, the Turk was in pink stripes of trend attitude. Then comes the uh, Paul Setter for uh, Alex Cherry, who's been passed now on the outside by Weeby Clarity and Mr. Wiseman. Up on those ones inside is the yellow colours of diamonds as they jump their watch jump um, and it up on another circuit. And at the back of the field, we have a Cottage Rake for Craig Backworth. So, Watchtower the leader for, Martin, for Graham Clutterbuck from uh, Subcontract in second, who's on the outside of Captain Manwaring. Then comes uh, Leo's Holiday and Tinson Farrell together. Uh, on the outside of these is a uh, trend attitude for Davy Robertson. Weeby Clarity is still going wide. Uh, between horses is Paul Satella for Alex Cherry. On the rail, we have. Uh, Nina Zenick. Just behind these is the Dave Hoody's Classic Ben with Diamonds just behind that. Ahead of these is Mr. Wiseman who's four wide and the back of the field cottage rake for Craig Beckworth. As Watchtower takes him along here at Ludlow. In the rain, about four lengths clear of Captain Man wearing in second. Subcontract on that one's outside. Then comes Train Attitude, who jumps that slowly, and Weeby Clarity passes that one in the air. Also passing that one was Leo's Holiday. They're followed by the two Patrick Hogan horses, Nina Zenick and Tinson Farrell. Paul Sotella just behind these with Diamonds trying to improve. Uh, Train Attitude lost a lot of ground now, it's dropped near the back of the field. Uh, followed by Cottage Rake, Mr. Wiseman, and Classic. Ben. As Watchtower takes him along from Captain Man Waring in second. Weeby Clarity's in third. Then comes Leo's Holiday for Alex Cherry. They're followed by a subcontract. Uh, on the inside of subcontract is Tinson Farrell. Uh, then comes Nina Zenick. Uh, Diamonds is on that one's inside. Traveling very wide is Paul Sotella. Then Mr. Wiseman for Stu Gray with Classic Ben on the, outs on the ins outside of Cottage Rake. So it's only about uh, eight lengths first to last year as Watchtower still leads for Graham Clutterbuck in this blue colours and red cap. The two red coloured red body horse with the yellow cap, those are Martin Leedham's Captain Man wearing, is on the inside of Weeby Clarity. Poking his nose up between those two is Leo's Holiday. Out wide is Train Attitude, who probably uh, 
It dropped to the back of the field recently, but it's uh, moved forward again. On the rail is Nina Zenek. Then comes subcontract for Craig Beckwith, who's on the inside of Pulsatella. Between horses, at this stage, is Tinson Farrell. On that one's inside is Diamonds for Obi Wan. Then comes Mr. Wiseman in the black colours for Stu Gray to jump the next. They all out of it okay. And uh, near the back of the field is Cottage Rake and Classic Band is the trailer for Dave Hoodie to jump the next fence. And still watch our leads from Weeby Clarity in second. Captain Man Waring has always been on the rail. Then comes Pulsatella for. Um, uh, Alex Cherry, who's moved past our companion Leah's holiday. Nina Zenik is on the rail for Patrick Cogan. Then comes a trend attitude. Out wide is Tinson Farrell. Subcontract on that one's inside. On the rail is Cottage Rake with Mr. Wiseman just behind that. Then comes Diamonds and a slow jump by a classic Ben at the back of the field. And he's getting detached at the back of the field. Classic Ben as they come to the water jump. And they go off on their final circuit with Watchtower, the leader still for Graham Clutterbuck from Weeby Clarity in second. On the rail is Captain Manwaring. Pulsatella is three wide. And then comes a uh, trend attitude for Davy Robertson in those turquoise and pink stripes and yellow cap. The black uh, cap and yellow colours of Patrick Hogan's Nina Zenik is on the inside of uh, Sable Companion Tenson Barrel. They're followed by subcontractors on the outside of Leo's Holidays drop back. Cottage Rake is on the rail. Then comes Diamonds. Mr. Wiseman has always been near the back of the field and always been at the back as Classic Ben is about two lanes off the last horse at this stage and Watchtower still takes him along with a mile left to go from Pulsatello has moved up into second for Alex Cherry. On the rail is Captain Man wearing. Then comes Train Attitude. Nina Zenik is moving forward with Stable Companion Tinson Farrell. Weeby Clarity has lost a few places. On the outside of that is Subcontract Cottage Drake is the slow jump on the inside of a Cottage Drake. Then comes Leo's Holiday. He's also lost ground. Diamonds is travelling okay for Obi Wan. And near the back of the field, Mr. Wiseman and Classic Ben are a long way off this field and starting to struggle. So it's watched the leader from Pulsatella in second for Alex Cherry. They're followed by Nina Zenik. Captain Man Warwick is on the rail. In between horses, Train Attitude is still there. Then Tenson Farrell. Leo's holiday behind that, but Weeby Clarity just behind the subcontract trying to run on. Uh, Cottage Drake, Mr. Wiseman, Diamonds, and Classic Ben have got a lot of ground to make up on this lead and Watchtower. So Graham Clutterbuck's Watchtower going strongly in front in the Moors Million uh, qualifier. Great. So Watchtower from Pulsatelli in second. Captain Man rowing on the rail. Then comes a subcontract and Dina Zenek. Tenson Farrell just behind that with Leo's holiday. Train attitude is looking a bit worried behind that. They're followed by Try, trying to improve Cottage Drake. It's still Watchtower with three and a half fellows left to go. Watchtower's led them a Larry Dance in front and he's going strongly at this stage and he's had them, he's got them all working behind him. Watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck because they turn for home. It's Watchtower from Pulse Hotel in second. Then comes Nina Zenek, Captain Manwari, not making much impression back in third. They're followed by subcontract out wide. Tinson Fell trying to run on with Cottage Drake. It's still Watchtower though. It's Watchtower with two fellows left to go. Pulse Hotel looks like a big danger back in second. Watchtower jumps it well. Pulsatella in second. Then comes Nina Zenik. Nothing else making much of an impression. Watchtower. Pulsatella looks a threat back in second. Watchtower jumps the next well. Pulsatella is, is a bit slow over that. There's still Watchtower from Pulsatella with with early enough to travel. Watchtower and Pulsatella come to the last. Watchtower jumps it comfortably from Pulsatella in second. He's making a strong challenge. Also Tenson Farrell is running on. Watchtower is holding on game here for Graham Clutterbuck and Watchtower is going to win the Moors Million qualifier for in second. I think Tenson Farrell might have got second from Pulsatella. So Watchtower start to finish in the rain out Ludlow. Yeah, that was a good performance by the Graham Clutterbuck horse. Really game in front. Held off Pulsatella who just didn't have more to offer. Did finish second Pulsatella. Tenson Farrell was third for Padraig Hogan and I think uh, Craig Beckwith was back in fourth and Captain Marin Waring Man Waring was back in fifth. So Watchtower wins for Graham Clutterbuck. Pulsatella was second for Alex Cherry, Tinson Farrell third for Patrick Gogan, Cottage Drake fourth for Craig Beck with those four qualify for the finals in week 13 and Captain Merring and Man Waring's back in fifth for Martin Needham. Martin Needham will actually finish off the last three races of the day and I'll be back tomorrow.